Hi, um, good morning everybody. I'm Louise. I'm Head of Talent Acquisition for Philips. I look after the UK, Ireland, Middle East and Turkey. Um, I want to talk to you today about building an inclusive workforce and I am specifically going to talk about a project that I did with Philips to um, hire people with learning disabilities into the organisation. And the reason I want to talk to you about this is because I think it's really positive to share tangible examples of people with learning disabilities meeting their potential within the workforce. And I'm also really hoping that I can encourage uh, and inspire other organisations to do the same by sharing some practical tips on how to do this. So just a little bit of background in terms of what Philips does. Um, we are a health and technology organisation. Uh, we're leaders in diagnostic imaging, connected care, image-guided therapies and personal health. Philips, like a lot of organisations, sees diversity and inclusion as a critical business um, objective and it's something we're really focused on. So back in 2016, I decided that I wanted to make Philips more attractive as an employer to people with disabilities, be they learning disabilities or physical disabilities. So I started to do some research. I was staggered to learn that only 6% of people with learning disabilities are in employment in the UK. People with disabilities, be they learning disabilities or physical disabilities, make up a huge part of the UK population. So it can only be good for society and the economy if more people with disabilities are in employment. So I wanted to understand what the barriers are for people. So I did some research. So there is a lack of information for employers around hiring people with a learning disability. And because that is one of the barriers, that's why I want to talk to you today, to kind of remove some of those concerns you might have as an employer. According to Scope, 37% of disabled people don't believe employers will hire them. And disabled applicants fear an employer may not have provisions around accessibility. It's nerve-wracking enough to go to an interview without even having to consider if you could get into the building or to the interview room. So what I decided to do at this point, understanding these barriers, was to connect with a local organisation called The Halo Project. And The Halo Project is committed to supporting young people with learning disabilities to gain independence. And I believe we've got a video now just to give you an insight in terms of what The Halo Project do. Halo was developed in 2006 by five families, each of whom have a child with a learning disability. The name Halo comes from the five children's names, Harriet, Amber, Laura, Oliver and William. Halo's ethos is to enable young people with a learning disability to have the same life choices and chances as any other young person. We support over 170 young people with a, a range of learning disabilities to live in their communities, to learn in their communities, to work in their communities, to socialise and to do all of the things that young people take for granted, really. We provide social activities, the opportunity for young people to take part in activities around Guildford and the surrounding areas. We have regular trips away, so whether that's to music festivals, to theme parks, away for the weekends. We don't have a minibus, so everything's done um, in, in the way that any other young person would access these things. We run a year-long learning programme called Building Futures, now in its fourth year. They learn really important skills like how to navigate around their local towns, public transport, take part in Duke of Edinburgh awards, and also really practical things like getting the correct benefits that they need to be able to move on and live independently. The Buddy Service was set up in 2009 to provide the opportunity to purchase one-to-one -one personalised support. We have enabled young people to get their own tenancies and move into their own homes and the Buddy Service is crucial in enabling them to continue with their tenancies. We match young people and buddies on interest, personality, they look like two friends walking down the street. It gives them the opportunity, as a young person, the opportunity to really feel that they're being supported to be independent and they're not being cared for or in some way taught but a natural process of learning and development occurs through a really solid relationship. If you think you can benefit from our services or your young person would like to get involved in any of the activities that we run or you think you can help us to raise funds, please get in contact. Okay, 
So I just wanted to share with you a little bit about what the HALO project was set up to do. Uh, and when we met with the HALO project and asked what Philips could do to help nurture the young people's independence, it was about providing real work experiences, paid opportunities. So having understood a bit about the organisation, I decided to commit to, at that point back in 2016, to offering one person a paid work experience and to go on a journey to be able to do that in a meaningful way. So the first thing that we did, um, very quick win for any organisation, was to register as disability confident. It is almost just a checklist. Some of the things and provisions will already be in place in your organisation. But this allows you to badge your organisation as disability confident, making you more attractive to people with disabilities, so widening your talent pools. And there's also hashtag work with me, which is a hashtag that Scope have created. And this um, has a breadth of examples of lots of big organisations, small organisations working on programmes like this. So it's always really good to learn from your peers. So to commit to doing um, this prog programme, we went on a little bit of a journey once we um, accredited ourselves as disability confident. And we decided the first um, step on this journey would be to, op uh, to have an open day, almost a meet and greet, so for HALO to introduce us to 15 young people from their project, to come into the Phillips office in Guildford, meet with hiring managers, see the office environment, an environment they may not have been in before, um, and to give them exposure to the functions that we have at Phillips, so sales, operations, customer service, marketing, etc. And I had had an initial concern that the business may not want to invest in this, but the appetite was huge. People really wanted to be involved. And I think I was surprised, actually, at how many people this type of project personally impacted <coughs> within the organisation. So the open day gave people an opportunity to come in and meet with us. Um, we, we had a, a great day um, running all of the exercises. And off the back of the open day, we said to anybody from the HALO project that was interested, they could come back and have an assessment centre. The HALO project worked with us to design the assessment exercises to make sure they hit the right spot. Um, and they also um, gave us inside information in terms of what hours people could work and what suitable opportunities um, might be relevant for the young people. At best, we were hoping to be able to make a job offer, and at worst, we were going to give people tangible experiences they could bring to other employers and in interviews, get feedback on their CVs, and have the opportunity to practice some of their assessment skills. So we also took anonymous feedback. We, we run a process of continuous improvement. Um, so I'm very happy to say, I can't, uh, uh, Will um, with the grey shirt um, stood out. He was um, really keen to gain an opportunity, very confident young man. And we offered him back in 2017 a job in our facilities department. Uh, he's still working there now and he's, he's thriving. Uh, and just four months ago, we offered somebody else from the Halo project a role in customer service. Um, and we're looking to make her a permanent member of the team as well. Um, so this has been a really meaningful and really valuable experience for us. Off the back of this, we were invited to the House of Commons. Um, it wasn't just a jolly, um, although we do look very happy in this picture. Um, it was about having the opportunity to talk to other employers about the benefits of this for your organisation and for the young people. Will spoke uh, to the 40 attendees at the House of Commons, and I think that's a really good example of somebody um, being able to demonstrate their potential by being given the right support. So what's next for us? Um, internally, there is a huge appetite to continue this project. So we will continue to run annual open days and assessment centres uh, and where, it, where we have uh, real opportunities uh, and match those with people from the HALO project, we will continue to do so. And externally, it's become a bit of a passion of mine to support other organisations to be able to do this. I'd really like to see that 6% increase over the next few years.